So I grew up grew up in a um, in a broken home. Uh, my mom and dad divorced uh, at the age of five, and so that always my dad was an oil filled guy, and so he was gone a whole lot. And so when I really look back at my life, you know, I didn't really have a strong um, father figure that was pointing me towards the truth. I was raised definitely from my, from my mom and my grandmother and all the people that, were, that, that played a role in my life was, I was raised to be a, a gentleman. And so I think that that was one of the things that probably for many, many years I struggled with was that I knew how to play the part of a good guy. You know, I knew that when a, when a, young, when a lady walked through, through a door, I was supposed to be the man that opened the door for them. Um, I knew that I was supposed to say yes ma'am and no ma'am and yes sir and so I was raised doing all of those things and all those things were good things but none of those things equated to my salvation. My dad struggled mightily with alcohol. In fact, when I was, when I was as early as 14 years old, he invited me to go, go out with him one day working with him and by that afternoon, we were sitting on the bar. We were sitting at the bar together at 14. I mean, he was he was serving me alcohol at the age of 14. Um, I always got cigarettes and things from him, and so so by 14, I was smoking and drinking all the time. And then it really it really um, began to move a lot faster as I moved into high school. Um, really began to surround myself with people that alcohol was of the norm um, and then slowly I started getting into doing drugs um, you know just my life was just moving at such a speed that I was just completely broken you know and the bad thing about it though was that I was really really good at hiding it you know I mean I had the perfect spot in my truck of where I hid my my whiskey or where, where I hid my cigarettes and you know I, I came home at the perfect time I thought where I could just hop straight in the shower and my mom would never know and um, I did a really good job at hiding it. I mean there was times in my life that I would I would get up early and and get completely drunk and go to school and I would go to school all day long. I mean I played basketball games um, under the influence. I played baseball games under the influence. I mean, it was just a, a constant, just, just trying to move past the present and the real. I remember I went to, um, I was I was in really really bad shape and I had um, alcohol poisoning. So I mean I had I had too much alcohol and so I was I, I went to the ER and I remember I remember sitting there and in the hospital and you know I'm not one that I believe that God audibly speaks to you but I heard from the Lord at the in the hospital and I remember and it, and I don't know if it was probably something the doctor said you know that I heard but. I, I essentially remember hearing, or maybe in my spirit hearing, Chris, I'm giving you one more shot at this, believe in me. And literally at that moment, I placed my faith in Jesus. My life was transformed by the Holy Spirit in that moment. When I placed my faith in Jesus and I said, Jesus, you are my savior. You are all that I need. He completely changed me. I mean, he completely changed every aspect about me. So much to the point that when I share this story with people who have struggled with drugs and alcohol, they struggle with my story because my transformation was so great. From that moment forward, I mean, literally, the, the person that I was and then the person I became were so different, it's, it's a hard story for most to believe. Like, before I knew Christ, I was literally smoking three packs of cigarettes a day. I was smoking marijuana every single day. I was drinking at least a, a 
and you know, I know we're talking with students like, I was drinking a lot of alcohol every single day. And the moment that I placed my faith in Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, he took it all away. You know, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, he says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. He says, Behold, the old has passed away, the new has come. And literally, that's the story of my life. I mean, I was this broken, downwardly spiraling human. I was separated from God. I didn't want anything to do with God because I believed I was my own God. I made my own decisions. I made my own, I called my own shots and I didn't want anything to do with God. He gave me over to that sin to the point of my end. And at the right time though, he called my name and he gave me the ears to hear it for the first time. I mean, I had grown up in the church. I had grown up hearing the gospel. I mean, my grandmother ensured that I was in church every single Sunday. And all of those times I had heard the, the gospel presented, all the times I had heard the invitation to come, it was in that moment at my brokenness that God gave me those ears to hear and a faith to believe. And when I did it, my life changed completely. In order for us to understand truly what it means to walk in, in freedom, like, like you're celebrating this weekend, we have to understand that true freedom is only found in our walk with Christ. Because I'm one that can give a testimony of one that walked in what the world said was free. And I can tell you that it's nothing but bondage. It's nothing but brokenness. And while it seems freeing in the time, you're only further deeper in bondage. That a life alive in Christ is truly the only freedom that there is. My name is Chris Stella, and this is how I found freedom in Christ.